Tim Norris, an agronomy and technology consultant and owner of Ag Infotech based in Gambier, Ohio, is expanding his RTK GPS offering by tapping into Ohio's cell tower-based VRS network. In parts one and two of this video series, we discuss the challenges of delivering RTK GPS in the hilly terrain of East Central Ohio and the reasons why the technology is in such demand. In this third and final installment, Norris demonstrates the system in his own cab. There are essentially three primary components required for the Trimble system he's showing. A rooftop antenna to receive the signal, a modem for processing it, and a display to monitor and control the communication. Now let's join Norris inside the cab as he demonstrates the system. Right, basically the setup of the VRS modem uh, when you're using Trimble's uh, AG3000. Very simple, just go to the setup button, um, go to system, GPS, GPS setup, then choose RTK as your source, choose the Trimble VRS modem as the modem of choice, it gives you a warning tells you to not have it too close to your head. <laughs> um, got a couple other uh, information screens here telling you what you're going to need to uh, set this up. Um, you can hit continue here. Um, it tells you how to set up your uh, VRS server. You'll have to put in the server address. So this is uh, the address on the internet as to where you're going to need to log in at. Um, you tell it what port number you want to go into, and this will be provided by ODOT or whatever VRS network you're working with. Um, they'll want to know what mount point you uh, want, and this would be the, what information you're wanting to come off of that server. So uh, we're choosing that we want CDM or CMR Plus coming out of that server uh, from ODOT. <clears throat> you put in your username, um, which ours is AgInfoTech2. Put in your password. And then once you have that set up, um, it should log you in, and uh, it'll show your connection status. Right now we are logged in. Uh, it shows the server address, your port number, the mount point, um, your username and password, and then the device name, which is the AG3000. Um, it has a serial number in the firmware version as well. Go ahead and exit out of that and go back to your run screen. You should have a green satellite. Um, if you hit the information button, when you turn this on, it's going to show you that your VRS is connecting. Um, then it'll show that it's authenticating, so it's putting all your information in that you supplied to it. Uh, once you're logged in, it'll show that you're logged in. This is a, a bar graph showing your signal strength, just like on a cell phone. So right here, we're uh, looking at three bars out of five. Um, this is our CMR age. So you'll see that change um, as, you know, if it gets older or uh, not. Um, basically, you'll see that we're RTK fixed and we're running on uh, VRS. Norris plans to have several of these systems up and running for the 2010 season. For PrecisionAg.com, this is Paul Schrempf.